Hey guys, I'm Dario Catronio, founder of DCI Education, and I'm really excited to present a beautiful haircut called the Maxi Shape on our gorgeous model, Lucy. How you doing, Lucy? Good, thanks, how are you going? Very good, I'm excited. <laughs> um, and, and this is a special thanks and a shout out to our friends at Timely for making today happen. Now I'm gonna walk you through, firstly, when we get a guest coming in, um, we have this beautiful tool called the Consult app. And thanks to our friends at Timely, it's now integrated inside the actual Timely app. So when I click on Lucy's profile, I'll go down to consultation or consult. I'll then click into care form. Now, thanks to Timely, we, you can actually create your own modular um, consult uh, questions, what type of questions you wanna ask your guests and, and really where do you wanna take them. So I have about four different options. I'm gonna show you today um, probably the most extreme option for when you've got a really you know, a sensitive guest or someone that's actually not quite clear on what they want. So first off, what we do with the care form is I'll hand this to you, Lucy. Thank you. And I'll get you to pop in your contact details first, email address. Mm -hmm. And this really links up with the actual Timely software. So it saves you doubling up asking your guests to pop in all of her details right at the end. Now, once we've done this, we'll get into the care form. Now, the care form's really designed to get a deeper insight into what Lucy's expectations are for today. Um, once we've, okay, so great, press done. So Lucy, the first question that, that's on here, normally you don't read this out because <laughs> you don't wanna be. Um, so first question I ask you is, um, how do you feel about your hair today? So the three options are happy, open for suggestions or looking for change. Definitely open to suggestions. Great, awesome, <laughs> that's really progressive. <laughs> um, so how would you describe your hair condition today? So the three options are dry, damaged or healthy. Dry? That's up to you to I answer like that question. Could be a bit dry. Good. A little bit. Good. This is a big test for you. <laughs> <laughs> um, what would you like us to do with your hair today? And you select in terms of maintenance, um, slight change, big change, or nothing. Oh, or none. Just a slight change. Good. For sure. Good. Okay. So in terms of color, um, you know, permanent, semi permanent gray, or none? Uh, so guys, this whole process is about engagement and making sure that you understand what she understands and, and vice versa. So the last thing that I'd like you to fill out is how often do you visit the salon? Three to five weeks, six to eight weeks, 10 to 12, or every six months. So right now what I'll do is with your finger, sign at the end. That means that you've agreed with everything. And then I'll get you to press complete. Okay, so that completes the first chapter. And this takes us through to the actual next stage of the console. And that's really about the um, scope of work. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to ask Lucy um, some key questions that really go down to, you know, really typify what the visit's all about. So I'm going to ask you some questions about your length. This is really important mm -hmm. for today's visit. So can you show me with your fingers what's the most you would like off your length today? Oh, Everyone does that. They have to look in the mirror. I'm, like, I'm not sure. Yeah. I would probably, you know, just like the smallest amount yeah. possible. Great, okay, great. Yeah, that's great. It's about what you want, not what I want. Yeah, so providing I don't, providing I don't take any more of that off, you'd be happy. Yes, definitely. Good, okay. So looking at your face, what would be, would you be open to slimming? For sure. Okay. I mean, I love layers around the face. And yeah. Just like shape around the face. Great. Overall shape around the hair, I think. Great, okay. So what would be the shortest that we could put that in? Focusing on the jaw area, the neck. Jaw area. For great. Sure would probably be the shortest. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Okay, so providing I don't take it any shorter than that, you'd be happy. Be very happy. Good, yes. good. Okay, so the reason I'm doing this is to remind Lucy that I really understand her, okay? And I want her to repeat it back so that she understands what I'm trying to clarify. So the last step is around your face. Mm -hmm. So what would be the shortest we could take the hair around your face? Probably just up to my cheekbone or yep. up to my jawline would be fine. Okay, so which one? In between, it's fine. <laughs> okay, good, good. <laughs> in between. Good. Okay, and this is really important because we do have to push our client to, to, to really commit. Now, what we're going to do now is I'm going to walk my guests through what my opinion on what her restrictions are. So basically, guests come into our salon um, asking what they want, and, and this is where we really go into giving them what they need. So the first thing I'm going to do is take some photos, front on, side on. So we're going to take some photos, gorgeous. Great. I'm going to take a side on photo. Great. And I'm just going to take a photo from the back. So I'll get you to just spin around just so you can see her hair, Lucy's beautiful hair, through the back. Great. I'll get you to turn back around. I'll take one more photo from the front. Great. 
great. And so what I do with guests is I actually walk them through their photos. So I'll sit here and go, okay, so that's what I like to start on. So Lucy, that's what the back's looking like. Mm -hmm. And that's what your profile's looking like. Mm -hmm. So what I'd like to do is to create some volume through here and really mm -hmm. compress through that area there. Yeah. Which aligns to your brief in the consult about jawline area. Mm -hmm. And then looking at the back, you can see how dense it is through there. So really slimming that in and giving you a lot of volume up through there. Definitely. Okay. And then through the front, just really slimming the belt of your hair cut through there. Definitely. Okay. I love that. Thank you. Good. Pleasure. What I normally do at this stage is I hand Lucy the iPad and I'll get her to write down in her own language what she understands she's getting today. Now, most clients, just before you start, because I know you're really excited, <laughs> is, that, is that most clients at this stage will not, not remember what they've even spoken about. They'll be like, well, what am I getting? Because that's your job. And what I do here is I generally try and give clients a guide on, okay, so what we spoke about is just, you know, probably about that much of your length. Um, and then in terms of shape, probably no shorter than your jawline. Yeah. And then um, around your face, probably around the same. Yeah. Is that? 100%. Okay, so I'll get you to document that. So the idea is for me to just recap what we're doing, why we're doing it. This is purely for me to understand what our restrictions are with the haircut. And I think fundamentally, you can see how quick this takes. I can't believe you just put trim. It's just a trim. <laughs> no, because uh, trim, trim is the worst word that I like. Hey, bye, bye. Oh, no, it's all good, it's all good. You didn't know that, you don't know. Um, but why I say that, and this is really important okay. um, for, for, for the guys at home, is that what trim represents is I want to walk out the same as what I walked in. Okay. And so I always, even though we can take a little bit off, mm -hmm. I do like creating new beginnings for clients. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah, so the idea of not selling them the same jacket for their face yeah. every six weeks. So what you've put down is layers, more volume, and just a trim. Yeah, that's cool, that's cool. Um, so what I'm gonna do, if you don't mind, I'm just gonna add to this, yep. just to be a little bit more crystal. So the, you put down layers. Now guys, I normally don't use the word layers in a consumer chat is because it can polarize people and make people feel quite, you know, it could be something in their past that didn't quite work out and they, they've got a fear towards layers. Um, so I might talk about um, invisible volume technique. I might talk about a compressed shape um, or condensed area. And I usually talk about the belt of the haircut being the area where the layer will fall. But, but because Lucy's opened up with the word layer, we freely can go for it. Um, so what I'll say is layers to be at jaw area, Perfect. okay. Now this is for our restrictions, not what I'm going to do. So that'd be the shortest I can take it, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, Cause then I'll talk to you about what ideas that I've got for you. Um, and some more volume. Now, when we talk volume, where do you like to see the volume? Definitely around at the top yep. volume. Like okay. I'm not much of a fan for my hair to be bushed out at the yep. bottom. Yeah, okay, the top area. Mm -hmm. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get it, flip your head over upside okay. down. And I'm just gonna shake your hair out a little bit. Just watch your top when we flick back. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so flick it right back. Okay, so now with both hands, I want you to push your hair into shape without looking into the mirror. Yeah. Yeah, good. Okay, so what that shows me is you really love your length. Mm -hmm. Okay? For sure. Yeah, the way you touched your hair. And this is really important, guys. I can see that you're pulling your hair down and that really shows us how much you wanna grow it. Mm -hmm. um, and because of that, I'd like to focus this session more about shape and leaving the length. Mm -hmm. And guys, sometimes I do this with, when I feel like a client's really sensitive about length, this will do one or two things. This will ease a flush out for the guest to say to you, no, I really want my ends cut, but we don't talk about trim anymore. We talk about maintaining. Uh, so it changes the language, the narrative. And more importantly, it shows that I care about what's really important for her, and that's removing that density through there and giving her shape. Um, so what's mostly, the last question I'm gonna ask you, what's, what would you most like to improve with your hair today? Oh, definitely just the volume. volume. The volume, I just feel like my hair gets really flat because it's actually straight, so it all just drops. Less flat, okay, good, okay. Okay, so what I've got for you in terms of recap, um, so layers, jawline area, more volume around the top area. Um, and normally what I do at this stage is we talk about um, how much we're gonna quote Lucy. And once we've done that, the last thing we do is talk about, do we wanna talk or do we wanna have a timeout? And these are things that I put together for my consult for my guests. Now, once we're happy with all that, and you understand that, I'll get you, there's a sign off the bottom, Perfect. just through there. Thank you. Complete. Yeah, awesome, great job. So that then completes 
our stage one and stage two of our console. What we would do now is we'd then go through the actual technique. Once we're finished, I would bring this back, our beautiful console app, and talk about what we agreed to and did we achieve it. So this is really important guys, because I find in hairdressing, it's, it's about making sure you understand what your client understands. It's not so much what you think's going on. And by having some evidence with you, you can clearly walk your client through the narrative of what you both agreed an hour ago so that she can crystallize exactly what we spoke about. Because people don't often remember what happened five minutes ago, let alone what happened one hour ago, let alone three hours ago. And it's just, we put everything transparently in front of our guests and we talk about what was agreed and did we achieve it. That's for two things. That's to make sure that you're accountable, one, and make sure that the guest is accountable. Because I find out of 31 years experience, I found that you could finish the haircut and at the end your guest could say, well, I was expecting more off the, the, the length or I was expecting it to be longer. And when you've got the evidence in such as a tool, a beautiful tool that Timely's developed, it gives you total crystal, a real crystallization of what was agreed. So really at this stage is where we come back and we really push our hands into where we see the belt going in through where we're committing to and showing the guests with your hands of where you want to compress and lifting up, giving them a guide. And what I also suggest is really working their hair to one side and just having a good look at what happens. Just get you open your eyes up a little bit through there. That's great. So what I'm looking at with Lucy is her photogenic side and her non-photogenic side. And then we go to the opposite side and one side pushes her eyes in. So this is a lot prettier. And this side here is her awake side that makes her look really strong, pushes the eyes out. Now, it's about education in the salon and understanding that you can communicate and essentially really inspire your guest with the ideas that you have as a hairdresser because the, the, we're not doing hair here. It's not about cutting hair. It's really about improving your, your, your guest's self-confidence, self-worth. And that's the part that I really love about hairdressing is to really engage them on a much more intellectual level. So once you start moving the hair around and get a mood happening, um, then your guests can start seeing the way you're touching the hair is what they've aspired to have. Someone that took control, understands what their fears are. So for me, this is all about, the most important part is about building rapport. And rapport only happens when you build trust and that only comes down to listening to your guests. Now, most guests will, will push back, will not want to talk and probably shut you down and just say, please just cut my hair. If you listen to that, then we become, pretty much an average hairdresser. What I'm trying to do through these videos to really help you understand, you've got to believe in what you believe and you've got to stand, you've really got to stand up um, to the core values that you have as a hairdresser. And that's to be of service and to really help people be better, look better, and most importantly, feel better. And, and often people come into our salons in a coma and we'll just ask what they've had in the past. It's really up to you to think about what will look good in the future for them and re give them a reset, re-collaborate. So I really like the idea of what's going on here with Lucy, something a little bit more looser to the side and giving her a feel and pushing that in through there. So I'm gonna show you this beautiful maxi shape now, which is so beautiful. So I'm gonna get you to turn to the side. So the actual cut itself through here is we're gonna take a circle section through here, probably about two and a half combs within diameter, in line with Lucy's jaw, and we're gonna clip that away, secure that with a bobby pin. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a semicircle section underneath, um, and we're gonna clip that up, and then I'm gonna do another semicircle section either side, clip that up. Everything else will be locked down. And then I'll walk you through the actual technique. This technique is purely designed to pull her profile back and give her as much compression in the areas that she really needs. Because I really want to see this top area float and giving her a much more hourglass silhouette whilst keeping all that thickness still down the bottom. I don't really want to affect. So the way I'm going to share with you in cutting, it's we're going to cut shape in and around her bone structure in a very cosmetic way. Um, not so hairdressy where we're going to cut every, you know, every bit of hair on her head. I don't get paid to cut all of her hair. I get paid to make her look amazing. And that's really what I want to communicate here. It's, it's really about inspiring your guests in pockets when she comes in. What does she need for the next six to eight weeks to feel really confident? Okay, so what we're going to do is the best way to start is looking at the apex of the head, the highest point of the head. What we're going to do is work back about a comb and a half from that point. And then we're going to put in a semicircle shape through the top. And then we're gonna create a circle through here. Really nice circle cut. Now this is gonna remain one length. We wanna create this because I find most guests 
when they come to your salon and they, they're really paranoid about having too much cut off, is when they actually go to lift their hair up when they're finished and they'll lift it up like that, this section will be one length. So they'll still feel like they've got hair. If this section's too short, um, you know, you do feel them feeling quite naked or, or losing a, a, you know, that little bit of confidence that you need to see no element of doubt that what you've done is 100% right for them. So now we've secured that, we're now gonna twist this in into a really nice, really tight bun. So this hair won't be cut. It's gonna be secured nice and tight. Okay, so this part's really important. So you're gonna start from here, you're gonna come down, come back around. These are your shoulder pads. So you're gonna go as low as her hair can take it. So we're really looking at Lucy's hair. This is really important here. Is you're gonna go from the middle here, go down, come back up. I'm just looking at her fabric underneath. So the density that we're gonna keep. So I'll probably come up a little bit higher because we're not cutting this underneath area. That's better. So this essentially is gonna be Lucy's shoulder pad through here. done now is we've done our middle section we've done our back section and now we're going to do a half section through the front so this is thicker through the back here we're going to do a quarter section from the sides all the way through across going no further forward than the apex so we can't come any further forward because we don't want to cut too much out but we want to give it a really light soft feel so ultimately when we're finished when you're looking at it from the top it looks like one big circle so we're going to put a clip in that way and lock a clip in that way. So as a recap, we have our little circle underneath clipped away. We've placed our two semicircle shapes on either side, the shoulder pads, we've clipped them away. We've then, the back area here, we've connected the two corners of the semicircles into a, another semicircle, and then we've clipped that. And then lastly, a little quarter section from either side, just to pick up for the cheekbones at the front. What I'm gonna do now is lock everything else underneath away and we'll then get started. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is just comb this down around about esophagus, not quite to jaw. I don't like going right on my client's uh, restriction. I like to give it a bit more room. It's not so much cutting it to that length, it's actually making sure it's very light. So we're gonna lift that up in one go, keeping it loose, and then just gonna point into where we want that belt. So that's like, that's like you committing to the band of the area. So think that that's the band of compression that we're gonna do. So we're gonna lift that up again, just point into that. Beautiful. So now, this is really where the haircut begins. What we're going to do is we're gonna lift both sides into the middle, so these two sides, bring the front forward. So what I'll do, I'll get you to turn to the side, that's it, stay like that. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna lift this up and you'll be able to see my marker right there and that's what I'm aiming for now. So I'm gonna take off all of that weight getting in there, taking away that density. The, the aim of this cut, so really loosening that up, is creating a curve through there, but the thicker the hair is, the deeper I have to go in my compression 
to really age that perimeter. Okay, so the belt on the side was of esophagus through here. What we're gonna do at the back is we're gonna disconnect that and have that, that little bit longer. They don't have to connect. The first guideline that we put in through here was really about looking at the walls of her face front on. What I'm looking at now is what's gonna help her with that silhouette back there. So we're gonna try out a length first, see how the hair responds. So I'm gonna lift this up, work out where we wanna see that, around about here, lift that up, pop in the marker. Gonna test how that works. Am I getting enough lift? I'll take it a little bit shorter. So what you want to get is you want to get that that lift that's going on in there, that hourglass shape sitting in there. I'm just gonna have a check on that balance. Good. Okay, so the last thing for me to do now is to take the clips out of the front and integrate it into the back area. So normally I'd blow dry that out, but we haven't actually touched any of the sectioning, so I'll take it all out now. shapes integrating in. As you can see, the belt of the haircut is really through here. So we want it slim, we want it slim through here. I'm really happy with that silhouette. And what I'm really mostly happy about is the fact that we've reduced all that density down the bottom to make it feel like it's a much lighter fabric. And it's, this emphasizes more about the face. So we're pushing in through here and here. What I've got to do now is I really want to edit away some of that bulk around the face, to just undo that hair through there. And then we're done and then we'll get into styling. But I just wanna show you before we move on, this is really the essence of the technique. So when I brush that down, you can't see any cut marks in the hair. And we lift that through, and you've got all that lift happening from underneath, and it looks really beautiful and effortless. I encourage you to use a, a brush when you're cutting hair, because it's less painful on the client and the guest. But you can just see that it integrates, it's flawless, and it looks really natural. And it's given her exactly what she needs, and that's in beautiful shoulder pads. So what I wanna do now is just take out the density right on the ends, but keep all that length, it's really soften around her face because it was cut way too way too thick in the last, her last haircut. And I never like to criticize. I just think where you're taking your guest is where she's been to where she's going. And sometimes it actually can help you in terms of working with what you've got, but just editing around it. And, and sometimes it could be about recommending to the guest that you wanna, you wanna grow certain areas out. And that's, that's a great project for both of you to get into and get excited over. Now the trick is when you do this, is to lift this out, lift it up high, and you're just skimming the top. You're not actually cutting into the actual hair. You're just reducing the density. So you can see the difference between the two. One's a lot heavier, one's really soft and transparent. doing now is just editing out the line that she's got from a pre-existing haircut so I don't want to go any shorter almost there just a touch just here It's insane. Yeah. They gave it so much more shape. 
Yeah. And, and this is 100% natural, it's organic, it's working with your beautiful texture. And I actually like it, the soft side, it actually looks really alluring, really pretty. Um, and then what I love is we've made this, you know, the fabric down the bottom a lot more in line with summer, so it's not so winter coat. Um, and everything just elongates and, and gives you that healthy, really light around the face. I mean, it's always best to have too much volume than not enough, because mm -hmm. you can dress that down. But I really like how that's settled in the way that's sitting, sitting in versus really big through there. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna work through smoothing out the ends and just working through the texture and then dress it out. But I just wanna bring this back. So ultimately, getting the vibe of what I was aiming for is getting that floating to the side, getting that height through there and getting that density in fabric sitting in. But I'm really happy with how Lucy's hair has responded. And that's something that I encourage you to do with your guests, is to really talk. This in the salon takes about maybe 20 minutes in total to do. Um, and you've got a lot more time to work out if you want to do the length. Um, at this stage, your client will let you do anything because she's happy. Um, and that's really about building trust. I don't like to get into length until we put in shape, got the dreaminess through the front. Um, and, and working on a, on a look that I feel that will really work with that guest. So I'm now going to smoothen it out, dress it up a lot more luck. Okay guys, so we finished the, the whole concept of the maxi cut. Um, as you can see, it's quite an effortlessly chic shape. Um, I love the silhouette, I love the pop of the shoulder pads. Um, and most importantly, I love how much shape we've got through here and, and how it's encouraging the head to move. That's what I ultimately, uh, you know, when we experiment with shapes, it's about incorporating disconnections that encourage hair and push hair to move. So ultimately it stays really thick down the bottom whilst giving your client maximum volume through the top. And that's really what I find women want. Women don't really want anything that's too strong and that stands out. It, for me, I love this effortless, chic, undone look that's, for, in my mind, quite desirable for clients to come back in for more. What I love doing at the end is I love going in taking a photo of the front. Great. And then what I do is I'll take a photo of the side. Great. Then I'll take a photo of the back. Great. And then I'll take another photo of the side silhouette. Wow, that looks amazing. And so what I like doing with my guests is I like walking them through. So as you can see, you're shaped through the front. Mm -hmm. So if we look at where we were, mm -hmm. to where we were before, wow. to where we were at the end. Insane. Yeah, so, so I like to, better. so if you look at the journey that we've taken on today, it's much more elongated, much so more streamlined. Much better, definitely. Okay. So if we look at the profile, wow, again. Wow, strong. Yeah. But beautiful. Ah. Oh. So effortless. Yeah. Love it. Aren't you nice? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this inside your album when we finish today. Great. So no matter what, and one thing Timely allows us to do is to store these photos inside your file. So whenever you come back in, you can we can revisit those haircuts. So to bring us back to what we agreed from the beginning, we'll go back to your consult. So we'll go to the scope of work. 
Um, so just to recap on what the goalposts were for today and what we we're aiming for is that we were layering at the jaw area um, for more volume around the top area and nothing off the length. So what I'll get you to do is I'll get you to sign off that you're happy with your hair um, and then I'll get you to sign off with your finger. So I'll get you to do that. Awesome. So what we'll do with this information will get stored in your file. So next time when you come in, I'll just have a bit of a recap on where we left and obviously see where the opportunity is to, to potentially do something new next time. Great. Okay, awesome. Okay guys, so this looks really beautiful, but I'd like to lux it up. I'm just gonna put a very slight wave just to really soften it out and make it look a little bit more plush. So we're gonna start off, I'm gonna curl the underneath, leave the top the way it is, and you'll see it integrate beautifully.
Okay, so as you can see, we've finished this beautiful luxe transformation. It just brings the cut more to life, makes it look really pretty and really glamorous. Now, I just wanna use this opportunity to thank our friends at Timely. Um, Timely has been an innovator and a pioneer in the space of technology, and particularly with the new update in the Consult app. They've now integrated the Consult app inside the actual Timely app itself. So you can now preset your consultations to be sent to your guest before she comes in and she can upload some images of her hair currently and some aspirational images of where she wants to go. And that is massive for our industry. That means we've got time to plan before she comes in and ultimately get set to transform her when she comes in. So on behalf of Lucy and myself, um, and the guys here at DCI, just wanna say a massive thank you. And I hope you've enjoyed this presentation. For me, it's about, it should be simple, it should be fun, and most importantly, we're in the transformation business, and I hope you've enjoyed this session today.